Welcome back to The Daily Dish. Missy joining us now from MyLoveIsMakeup.com. And we're talking lashes. We are. You know, guys know when I get excited about something, you're going to hear about it. And so when I was introduced to lash extensions, this has started a new trend here in Utah. We're just now seeing it hit full force. Everybody's running out to get lash extensions. I know a lot of you are because I have a lot of clients coming in that have those extensions. Well, I wanted to make sure you guys are getting your questions answered before you take the plunge and invest in getting a great set of lashes. And so we did a wonderful event this weekend for Premier Lash Designer Lashes, where we got to experiment, experiment with mink lashes, synthetic lashes, falsies, feathers, all the fun stuff. So they're not all created equal. Lashes are different. We should introduce Eva. Yes, let's by introduce the way. Eva Zacharias. She's a lash stylist and educator. Flew in all the way from Atlanta to be with us this weekend. Um, she's an amazing uh, in the industry. She's well known, and we are just honored to have her here today to answer some great questions. Well, for and you I guys. was looking at all of you at your lashes, and I looked at you, Eva, and you said, "No, I put them on. I don't have them on." <laughs> <laughs> she said, I can't do my lashes. Them I can't do them myself. How long? Myself. How long have you been doing lashes? Seven years. And are they all created equal, or are they all? different and we should be looking for particular things when we take the plunge? Uh, you should definitely be looking for different things and really research. I just spent the most amazing weekend with uh, Jim from um, James Zinc Photography. Amazing work. <laughs> it was so awesome. Uh, with Missy, with the crew from uh, Premier Lash, um, and six most amazing models and did all the lashes on them. Um, we changed it up from uh, full mink to silk to genuine mink lashes. Uh, and then on the market, you will see strip lashes. You will see tabs, which are generally known as individual lashes. What does our model have on right now? She has um, silk lashes Those are with, silk? A layer, with a layer of genuine mink. Even you um, put these in one by one, right? One single lash <coughs> to one natural lash. And it's really important to keep them individual because when you, each one of your lashes has a different lifespan, each lash grows at a different speed. And uh, if you gl glue two of your lashes together, one will grow quicker and pull the other one out. I didn't so know that. It can be damaging if you don't have a lash stylist that does great work. What's better, mm -hmm. silk or mink? There is no your look. Really? Yeah, That's what you're going for. Yeah. They're a completely different look? Yeah. Uh, some are more shiny, uh, some of them have a more matte color, mm -hmm. and then when you go into genuine mink, it's of course the same size as your own natural hair, and genuine mink is hollow, so they have no weight to them whatsoever. So we can also target the market of uh, uh, recovering patients from cancer, from chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. uh, they're completely healthy for their lashes as well because they have no weight. Eva, will you tell us the different lengths and the different widths of the lashes that you can put on? The lengths come anywhere from uh, 6 millimeters to 19, uh, which is very, very long. What, are, what um, do we have right here? Her longest lashes are 15 millimeters, but because uh, we layered them with the genuine mink, uh, the tip is a little bit longer than 15 millimeters. So when you see your Kim Kardashians, when you see your Taylor mm -hmm. Swifts last night, what are they wearing? They're definitely getting their lash extensions done by a you know, professional lash is stylist. It mink? A lot of times it's mink. We know JLo is, is known for her mink lashes, also her fox fur that she wears as well for those looks. But the key and the crucial thing is upkeep and making sure that you're going in and taking care of those lashes and getting them filled when needed. This looks familiar. Yeah, does, who's that pretty girl who on is there? That? Huh? That's a Gretchen, a Gretchen went in and got hers mm -hmm. done over the weekend. How, how long does it take? Between it's a process of about two hours. Right. Two hours. Uh, and then again, depending on uh, how many lashes you put on. Uh, there's a stylist out there whose average set will be 60 uh, lashes. And then the most I've ever put on on one eye was 253. Wow. Yeah. Really? Wow. You can put on as many lashes as you have. Do you do the bottom or just the top? Yes. If you look at the we side profile mm -hmm. of Victoria, we have red on her bottom oh, because we so have blue. This is color blocking, guys. We all top. know color blocking's in, right? No, no I this didn't is a huge know. trend. I hope there's a way with your lashes. to see that on the camera because yeah. just the tip of that bottom lash has the red. It does. No, it's I didn't beautiful. even notice that. How cool yeah, does that Yeah, so the look? color blocking with that. And one key thing I wanted to touch on too, because if uh, we all know lash extensions, you don't need mascara, right? Well, when they're done beautifully like this, you can get away without wearing eyeliner. So you're throwing out the eyeliner and the mascara and getting an you know, emphasis on That's your beautiful you eyes. No, it's get up so and go done, right, and look fabulous. A little right. bit of gloss, blush, done.
Done. Yep. So Eva will be bringing back into town. Um, I'm already booked for her first appointment, but if you guys want to start scheduling, my information's on there, and you can get a hold of me, and we'll make sure that we make that happen and give you more information about Premier Lash. And there's all Missy's info, Missy, at MyLoveIsMakeup.com, and of course her website there, MyLoveIsMakeup.com, and her phone number. Give her a call. Be ready for spring and summer. Absolutely. Makes it easy. Makes it fun. Eva, nice Color to meet block. you. Nice meeting Thanks you for as being well. Here. So Thank nice you for to meet you. Me. I'm beautiful. Makes me excited. Well, coming up next, well, we want to check in with the kitchen. First, we have Matt from Kimmy's Mountainside Bistro here with us. Matt, what's going on over there? Um, not much. Um, we have some breakfast goodies, um, and uh, we're gonna cook them with rum. You're well, making with rum? I know. Rum. He's like, he's like, it's still the weekend, people. It's only <laughs> Monday morning. We're it's talking party. Rum. <laughs> um, Easter brunch coming up next weekend. Right. right yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this may be something you could eat. Right. Yes. For Easter brunch. All right, that recipe coming up. But up next, a new movie highlighting the life of Apple founder Steve Jobs. But who will take on that prestigious role? We'll tell you which actor has been cast. It's all next in your celebrity dish.